Hello and welcome to my first Christmas video for 2014. Today I will be showing you how to foundation paper piece this Christmas tree. This pattern is my own. It's a little bit rough and ready. I am no professional when it comes to pattern making, but if you want to give this a go, there is a link down in the description box below where you can print the pattern out and do it yourself. Now if you're new to the technique of foundation paper piecing, there is a link here on the screen now as well as down below to a tutorial that I made earlier in the year all about foundation paper piecing. In that tutorial I teach you all about the different tools that you need, how to read a paper pieced pattern, as well as actually showing you how to do it. So definitely if you are new to all of this, go check that out before you watch the rest of this video. Both of these links won't take you away from this video, it'll just pop up in a new tab so you can watch that video and then come back and watch the rest of this one. Okay, so let's get on with the tutorial. Firstly, print out the PDF pattern using the link below. Then, cut a piece of green fabric for section 4, two long strips for sections 5 and 6, two square pieces for 2 and 3, and then another for section 1. Ensure all of these pieces measure at least a quarter inch over their section lines along each side. To begin, roughly cut out the pattern around the outer edge using paper scissors. Then, with a serrated tracing wheel, perforate each of the lines that you'll be sewing on top of. The back of the pattern should look a little like this. On the back of the pattern, dab a small amount of glue onto the number 1 section and carefully centre the fabric for the trunk on top, with the print side facing up. Next, flip the pattern over and fold down the section 2 line. Grab a ruler and place the quarter inch line along the edge of the pattern, cutting off any excess fabric. Place the fabric for section 2 underneath the pattern, right side up. Then carefully align together the top edges, ensuring that the bottom fabric reaches past all of the section 2 boundary lines. Once you're happy with the placement, open the pattern back out and carefully pin all three layers in place. At the machine, confidently sew on top of the line between sections 1 and 2 and then stop once you've reached the line to section 4. Turn the pattern over and with a finger presser or iron, firmly press section 2's seam open. Flip the pattern back over and fold down the section 3 line and then using ruler and blade, trim the edge down to a quarter inch. Place the fabric for section 3 underneath and align the pieces into place just like last time. Open out the pattern and pin all three layers into place. Sew on top of the line that separates sections 1 and 3, stopping once you've reached the line to section 4. And then on the back, firmly press open the seam. And that's the first three sections done. Moving on to section 4, flip the pattern over and fold down the next line. Trim off any excess fabric, leaving a quarter inch seam allowance. Lay out the fabric for section 4 and place the pattern on top, aligning the top edges evenly together. Ensure that the bottom fabric reaches past the point of the tree and side edges on the pattern, then carefully pin in place. Begin sewing from the start of the line to section 4 and finish just where it ends. Then turn the pattern over again and firmly press open the line you've just sewn. Continue on like before with section 5 by folding down its serrated line and then trimming the excess fabric down to a quarter inch seam. Place one of the long strips underneath, aligning the top edges and centering the piece so that the edges are reaching past the pattern. Pin in place once you're happy. Start the sewing line just off from the pattern, following the line between sections 4 and 5. Stop sewing once you've reached the top point of the tree. Then firmly press the section open. Repeat exactly the same method from section 5 with section 6, remembering to trim the edge to a quarter inch seam allowance, aligning the fabrics into their correct places and pinning them in place. 
then add the sewing machine, sew from one edge to the other, following the line between sections 4 and 6. Then firmly press this last seam open. Now flip the pattern back over again, and with a ruler and blade, trim off the excess fabric along the outside of the quarter inch seam allowance line. Then with confidence, gently rip away the paper from the back of the pieced block, one section at a time. And that's your foundation paper pieced Christmas tree finished. It's just the very simple way of piecing this block together. Now foundation paper piecing isn't all that scary once you sort of know all the basic sort of steps on how to put it all together and once you have all of those sort of skills under your belt the sky is the limit and you can pretty much try anything. As most of you might already know in December I am posting two videos a week so every Sunday and Wednesday and they're all pretty much Christmas themed. So if you're not subscribed to my channel and you want to see those, subscribe! I would love to have you come join me. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very very soon. Bye!